I'm Kenzie Ray and we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this video so the first thing I'll be doing is taking my lie tooth comb and I'll just be detangling my hair this just makes it easier to grab sections when I begin wand curling my hair and I'm just showing you guys the fallout that I got after combing out my hair it's literally like nothing at all like it was only about two or three strands so we'll get more into the hair a little later in the video so right now I'm just taking one side of my hair and I'm gonna take a clip and pull that up now I'm taking my wand curler and whenever you're wand curling your hair you want to be you want to be very careful because the wand curler is so hot and I have burned myself so many times all right so now that I have it sectioned off I'm gonna take this first piece and I'm gonna go ahead and begin wand curling. And I like to start, um, it's big at the bottom and then towards the, well, it's big at the top and then towards the bottom, it starts to get smaller. So I just like to start wrapping my hair around at the top and then work my way down. And I like to keep it close together. And by keeping it close together, it gives you more of a spiral look. And also it makes the curl um, less loose and more tight. So. As you can see, I'm just gonna scrunch my hair up. And as you can see, it's kind of a nice tight curl. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. And I'm pretty much gonna be doing the same steps. So I'm gonna fast forward through this part, um, but you can still see how I wrap the hair around the wand curl. All right, and when you get to the part closest to your face, you wanna make sure that you're wand curling it away from your face. This way it kind of um, goes towards the back and it creates a layered look. So I'm just gonna be wrapping this around and just doing the same process. All right, so now I'm done with this side. I'm just gonna scrunch this curl up and then I'm gonna kind of play with it a little bit, make sure it's falling the way that I want. And this is how the curls look so far. This is my best one curl yet, so <laughs> I'm glad we got it on camera. So I went ahead and did the other side as well, and I'm just taking my wand curler and I'm just using this to lay down some of the flyaways. Coming from my closure, um, I'm also going to be using my brush to kind of lay them down as well. This is only my second time having a closure, so I'm still trying to learn how to work with it a little bit. Now I'm taking my, um, I was about to say Eco Styling Gel. <laughs> because that's always what I'm using, but I'm taking my um, edge control, the Argonaut edge control, and I'm just gonna be laying my edges. And like I said, this is only my second time having a closure, so y'all don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just going to be using my concealer to kind of touch up the part a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna be using my wand curl to kind of lay it down a little bit. Then this was when I realized that I got a little concealer in my hair, but that's okay. So now I'm just using my fingers to break the hair apart a little bit. You want to make sure that you're not running your fingers through the hair. Just um, pretty much separating the curls. And now I'm just kind of playing with it a little more and getting it exactly how I like it. Alright guys, so that is it for this tutorial. And as far as the hair, this hair comes from a company called Longqui Hair. Um, I'll have a link to purchase this hair down below and also